Centrifugal compressors are used in motorcycles like the Kawasaki H2, but also in cars. They possess a housing into which a compressor impeller is installed. As soon as the impeller rotates, it acts like a reversed fan and draws the surrounding air in. You can see it here because of the small cotton balls. Speeds of more than 100,000 revolutions per minute are not uncommon for these impellers. Air is drawn in extremely quickly in centrifugal compressors. When it exits, however, we see that the speed of the air has slowed down greatly, but there has been a major increase in its density. As this is quite important, we will get back to this again later. Centrifugal compressors are driven by V-belts or toothed belts, but chain drives, as used herein, are also possible. A planetary gear is suitable for achieving high rotational speeds of more than 100,000 revolutions per minute. A similar one is also built into the H2. The small gear wheel in the center, the so-called sun wheel, is connected to the compressor impeller. The ring gear is driven by the gear wheel, which is connected by a chain to another larger gear wheel, which in turn is driven directly via the engine's crankshaft. The outlet of the compressor's housing is connected to the inlet of the engine. As soon as the engine starts running, it drives the compressor, and the compressor thus provides the engine with compressed air. This allows the engine to burn more fuel and thus can provide greater performance. In the H2 motorcycle, the air is blown in from the front, while riding is routed to the compressor and finally to the engine. Since air is heated by compression, intercoolers are often used. In the case of the H2, however, there is no need for such a device.